hi Dana here. One of the things that um, Chad talked about yesterday was this idea that we can bring our wrestling and our questions of why and our concerns and our anger to God. The Psalms often show us that um, what's going on in our hearts and what's going on um, in our world can be expressed to God. Prayer is a place where we bring our whole selves, our doubts, our questions, our joys, our gratefulnesses um, into the presence of God. We um, saw this past summer when we went through the Psalms that Walter Brueggemann kind of talks of three different ways that we can categorize Psalms. Um, there's the orientation where everything's going good and uh, the world makes sense and we can praise the Lord for it. Then there is this thing that happens um, that upends everything and we're not quite sure um, who God is anymore, who we are and what the world is on about. And so we bring anger and frustration and blame and our desire maybe for uh, revenge or our hatred towards people or God. Um, our blame and the anger all to the presence of God and we wrestle it out there. It's called a prayer of lament um, and there are individual ones and also communal ones. And then eventually there's also this category of reorientation where we suddenly um, at the end of that upheaval realize that um, our understandings of God have shifted. Our understandings of ourselves and of our world have shifted. And so we speak differently um, to God, carrying our pain along with our hope and our trust in God. Um, and the, the truth is that as Christians, yes, we have hope. Chad and I have been saying that since the beginning. And we claim that we have hope. It's true. But we don't have hope hope. We can't just like numbly and um, without thought claim that God is trustworthy and true when we are really truly struggling with something. We can hold that to be true and we can hold that there is hope but in order to get to hope and in order to get to resilient hope, in order to get to defiant hope, we actually have to speak honestly about the pain and hardship and difficulty that we are experiencing in the present moment or maybe that we have experienced in the past. Um, this is kind of the trajectory of Easter and of Holy Week. There's this really horrible thing that happens um, on Thursday and Friday and Saturday is silence, dark silence. And all of a sudden Easter happens and then there's this reorientation that happens. So before the crucifixion, they had an orientation of how they understood God to work in the world, the disciples did. Then Jesus dies and is crucified and they go through this big, massive thing of disorientation. And then when Christ appears again, there is a ton, a ton of reorientation that has to happen, of trying to meld all of what they have seen and heard and who God is. Um, and so I want to encourage us to um, sit in lament a little bit, especially if you are struggling. Um, I encourage you to write your own psalm. There's a whole bunch of um, a whole bunch of psalms, but we can start with Psalm 13 or 86 or 35 as some examples of personal lament. And I will link a bunch of songs, some resources, and I just encourage you to sit down and write a, a, a prayer of lament. I have found this to be so helpful for myself throughout my lifetime and it allows for this emotional honesty, this honesty and truth telling about what's happening so that we can find healing, so that we can find hope. So grace and peace and uh, we will chat with you later.